Hi there friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. This is my uh, geeky uh, little side of YouTube, uh, side channel to my main YouTube channel where I talk about stuff to do with technology, particularly audio and video technology and uh, especially as that stuff relates or works with um, Ubuntu Linux because I've been an Ubuntu user since the glorious days of 2008. Uh, the uh, not so exciting origin story of my Linux use is that I had a laptop that broke down and uh, being a uh, poor student without really much disposable income, I thought my laptop was finished. Uh, but uh, my friend's brother uh, was big into Linux and got me set up on Ubuntu and the rest is uh, history. I've been using it ever since, including somehow with jobs. Uh, the key to using Linux at work is to work with fellow geeks. So I found that working at tech companies people have been pretty receptive uh, or at least amenable to me using Linux at work. Um, what I want to talk about today is I think a really important uh, topic with regard to microphones and voiceover um, and that is just basically a couple of factors that uh, are going to affect the quality of your microphone irrespective of your the microphone you're using and the audio interface you're using. In other words, these are just kind of things you need you should know about working with uh, microphones. Um, what the specifically I want to talk about firstly is uh, something called the address form for a microphone. I'm holding up the Samsung Q2U microphone and I'm speaking into the AT2020. So the Samsung uh, Q2U is a, a top address microphone and uh, this is something that's really important to know. It's very well known that microphones have pick up patterns which is kind of how they pick up the audio right but uh, microphones also are either a top address or side address a top address microphone means you speak into the top of the microphone and dynamic microphones like the samsung q2u tend to be top address right so if i was holding the samsung q2u i would ideally be holding it at some kind of an angle up to my mouth where my mouth is uh, speaking directly over the grill and into the microphone capsule. But the microphone I'm currently using, the AT2020, is a side address microphone. Holding up the QTU again, a side address microphone means you speak into the side. Now I'm sure there are some side address microphones where the side doesn't matter, but for a lot of uh, condenser side address microphones like the AT2020, there is a wrong side and a right side. And I'm convinced that an awful lot of people must be speaking into the wrong side because I was making this mistake when I bought the microphone. I was like, damn, this is supposed to be such a good microphone, but the audio quality is atrocious uh, or not the best. And uh, so I watched some YouTube videos about the, you know, things people commonly get wrong with the AT2020. And lo and behold, the first one was, are you speaking to the wrong side of the microphone? So I was like, oh, there is a right side and a wrong side to the microphone. And I was speaking to the wrong side. Uh, if you own the AT2020, you'll see if I can just bring it into frame here. It says back. I'm going to put my finger over it. Back. And that is the back of the microphone. And the correct way to address the AT2020 is 180 degrees removed from the back, which is the front uh, and that has the Audio Technica logo onto it. So you want to be speaking to just above the uh, Audio Technica logo. Now, something I think a disadvantage for streamers and people who need the microphone to be on camera it, that is not really um, talked about enough is that the technically correct way to address a side address microphone, I'm going to do it now, is to be speaking directly into the side of the microphone. And I think you're actually going to be hearing a substantial audio difference between me speaking directly into the side of the microphone and me bringing it just a little bit down, right? We've lost some, um, I would say, tonality, right? The reason that this is a problem is that obviously if you're doing live streaming or whatever, it's going to look completely ridiculous. But if you're doing a voiceover to record this and you don't need to capture video, you're going to be getting the very, very best audio quality by addressing a side address microphone directly into the side. And just as we make these little adjustments going a little bit down, so now my voice is kind of coming in over the top of the microphone, we're going to be losing a decent amount of audio quality. So I think if you need to be on camera or you plan to be on camera, uh, that is a factor that should be considered in whether you're choosing a dynamic or a condenser microphone. Look up the address pattern, but just you can probably assume for dynamic, it's going to be like this. And this looks, uh, this looks fine if I had the Samsung Q2U just angled up beneath my mouth 
But this looks really, really stupid. And I think almost everyone doing streaming would say, if you started a live stream like this, people would be like, why the hell is a microphone in front of your face? So just something to be considered. I think it's, it would be a very good choice would be to use this for streaming and use the condenser microphone for podcasting or voiceover work or really any other instance in which you are going to be capturing audio from the mic, but you don't need, need to be capturing the video as well. So you don't look stupid. Um, okay, so the second thing I wanted to talk about in sort of this how to use your microphone uh, video was the difference you're going to be getting if you're using a custom windshield. And uh, this is a little custom windshield I got made up on AliExpress like a year ago. It says Daniel Rosal video and this is my name in Hebrew here because I am in Israel and occasionally I do videos in, uh, in, in the Hebrew language. So I'm just going to demonstrate no better way than to just uh, do this live and just to say I'm not going to be editing the audio and post so what you hear is what you get speaking from the 80 20 20 into the Behringer Euphoria UM2 and from there into my computer so this is with the stock windshield on the AT2020 and I'm going to remove this now and you're going to hear what difference you get from speaking without any windshield whatsoever I ate a lot of peas for breakfast peas for breakfast I'm just the plosives I had a lot of peas for breakfast, peas for breakfast, and let's just put this back on, and the same thing, I had a lot of peas for breakfast, peas for breakfast, and because I'm monitoring the audio, um, I can actually hear substantially better plosive protection, plosive protection, plosive protection, when I use just the um, stuff that came from the microphone. So again, um, it might be actually easier to demonstrate the importance of getting the address pattern correct if there isn't this foam slightly obscuring my face. So this is again what I would regard as kind of a um, you know fairly normal microphone position for um, when you want to be on camera, but we're going again to the more most ideal microphone microphone position for the eighty twenty, and that is side address. And there's actually kind of a little uh, there's two vertical bits of metal here, and you want to be speaking. I'm just going to show show you guys here directly directly into the part of the grill that is uh, beneath the, between the metal. So you should be getting the absolute best audio quality out of the microphone now because I'm speaking directly side address. And now again, I'm just kind of coming, moving it a little bit down and we should be getting that audio quality coming in worse. So if you're doing voiceovers, I'm going to repeating myself here, but if you're doing voiceovers or podcasting, you have the 80, 20, 20, and you don't need to worry about you not looking normal. Put your mouth six to eight inches directly in front of the side of the microphone and address the microphone inside address making sure you're addressing to the right side now let's just see what happens when we do the wrong form of address 90 degrees off and we're already getting a substantial decrease in audio quality and now i'm going to address in from the back of the microphone so i'm speaking here 180 degrees off axis and you can hear just a totally different audio quality so again this side versus front address is not something uh, that is nice to know uh, this is actually essential to uh, getting not only the most out of your microphone but getting what the microphone is capable of if you own your AT2020 so if you're getting bad audio quality from your AT2020 or you know someone who is Make sure you're speaking into the right side. Okay, now final part of this video, I want to put on my custom windshield. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits pretty well. And now I'm just have to make sure that you're speaking into the right side. So now I'm speaking into the right side of the microphone and uh, into the front address. Doing back address again, just to demonstrate that massive, massive difference and coming back to front address. This is the microphone in front of me. Again, what I would call the streaming position, a little bit down from the mouth, a little bit front towards the camera. And now we're going back to what I again uh, remind people is the optimal microphone position for the side address condenser mic, like the AT2020. You're really coming up right into the side and I can just hear in my headphones how much better that's sounding, even just versus a little difference like this. Um, so just in terms of plosive protection, I had some peas for breakfast. I had a lot of peas for breakfast. I had a lot of peas for breakfast. I had a lot of peas for breakfast. Getting much more plosives. Aside the mic shield. 
Now, just for the sake of thoroughness, let me do a quick comparison between the raw microphone and the microphone with the uh, OEM foam on top of the microphone. And then finally, we'll do my custom microphone. So I'm just going to start speaking and talking about what's on my mind. It is a cold night here in Jerusalem and winter's evening. And we're, but we're getting some pretty nice uh, weather here as well as we're getting very close to, I'm going to put on the first microphone foam here. We're getting close to New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve, which are celebratory times, although not quite as celebratory in Israel as perhaps in other countries because we're on the Jewish calendar. So the New Year here is a understated event compared to the New Year's in other parts of the world. And I'm just moving off this custom mic and going into the uh, foam custom microphone and uh, New Year's Eve is slightly less of an event in Israel and it even has a weird name it's called Sylvester why do Israelis call New Year's Eve Sylvester I can never remember the reason but like all things in life there probably is one all right guys I'm going to that was the end of the test so I hope this has pointed out that mic positioning is actually really really essential as is the address form um, look up if you don't know whether your mic is top address or side address just look up the microphones um, instruction manual and it's probably written there uh, somewhere where you're supposed to speak into not quite the same thing as the pickup pattern but the pickup pattern will greatly uh, influence um, how you should address the microphone all right guys that's it for today hope this video has been helpful for microphone owners out there i'm going to do no editing whatsoever on this sound so that it comes up to youtube just as it was recorded into the computer have a good day and if you want to get more videos like this from me do consider subscribing here on youtube